Almost 5 million snake bites occur worldwide each year. That causes up to 125,000 deaths. Not knowing what to do can quickly turn you into a statistic. So we called in the snake expert here in Hollywood to give us the do's and don'ts when it comes to our slithering friends. He's personally handled over 100,000 snakes and is responsible for pretty much every snake you've seen in movies from, from Dust Till Dawn to Snakes on a Plane. Please welcome snake expert Jules Sylvester to the show. Hey, Jules. How's it going? How you doing, Dr. Travis? How you doing? I'm good. That is a uh, fairly large looking snake there. Yeah, this is a, a seven year old albino Burmese python. Um, big constrictor. This is only half the size. It'll get a lot bigger than this. It'll get I think, a lot get 20, bigger than 25 that? 25 feet, 250 pounds. Now, can that bite you? Oh, yeah, it's got huge teeth. You so, why is it? Well, but you're fine right now. Yeah, it likes me, thank goodness, right? <laughs> <laughs> At what point in your life do you realize that I'm fine with having a snake wrapped around my neck? Uh, when, I, when I was 16, I was raised in Kenya and trained by these fantastic snake men over there. And I've been doing it 45 years. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to maybe have you put, we'll put him a friend back. away. He's very friendly. His name's Steve. Hi, Steve. We'll see you later. <laughs> You're welcome. Got that? Yep. boy. thanks. Right. There are two different types of venom out there. There's actually neurotoxins and hemotoxins. So... A rattlesnake bite, for instance, can cause issues with clotting with your blood, whereas a cobra bite does affect your nervous system. So, depending upon the snake that bites you and what its venom does, you'll have a different symptomatic response. So, with these neurotoxins, it prevents signals going from one nerve cell to the next. What that can cause is, for instance, respiratory failure. You stop breathing, particularly these smaller animals that are, that are truly the prey of course, can cause seizures, amongst other things. Now, with a hemotoxin, let's take a rattlesnake as an example because I'm so frightened of them. <laughs> but if you get bit by one of these snakes that has venom that's hemotoxic, it can cause your platelets to not work, so you can have massive internal bleeding. In some cases, though, the opposite effect will occur. It causes your blood to coagulate. Now, in smaller animals, you don't see a lot of heart attacks and strokes in humans because we're big. Mm -hmm. but this is happening in their prey, right? Absolutely, absolutely. 